Okay, this is a short video to um, portray the Tucon 2500 uh, evaluating an ammunition bullet shell. Um, trying to demonstrate the new Z-axis recognition feature for this particular system. Um, so this is a frame. You can see uh, we have a bullet shell, a uh, single bullet shell fixture um, in position. With a, an ammunition shell mounted in place. This is, uh, this is what the shell looks like. Um, over here on the computer screen, we have a series of um, test functions that have been um, predefined uh, by me as the, uh, as the user, the software. Um, and so this program is basically uh, an instruction set um, to define five indentations. Uh, we're going to make five indents along this bullet shell. Um, the tester will automatically adjust for the varying uh, heights, the larger OD and then the necking portion of the bullet shell, which you can hopefully you can, you can see in the, in the fixture. Okay. And moving back over to the software, to execute our test program, the user would simply move over to the auto button, and then they would key in some sample information, so your sample name, order number, batch number, uh, what have you. And then they would just press the new sample button. And as soon as you do that, the software will take over under program control. Um, and automatically we will view the specimen, the bullet shell, um, on our computer. There's a camera mounted inside our, our frame. Um, and we can navigate using our, our XY table. You can navigate um, any which way we'd like. And we can quickly and easily define our starting location. We'll navigate to that point. I can press the space bar, the keyboard, and I now get a, a crosshair approach. The user can now just press enter. And at this point on, the software has completely taken control and our tester will now uh, make a series of indentations along the bullet shell. Uh, so what I've programmed in here, this particular application, is to do four indentations on the larger OD of the bullet shell, and then a final indentation on the necking end um, of the shell. So you can see the system is now quickly moving over to each location. Um, I've set the dwell time to comply to the ASTM and ISO standards, so it's set to 10 seconds. Um, the dwell time is variable, though we can change it to whatever um, the user may, may desire. Indentations are being made. We're on our third indent. You can see here on the software, it says that we're on our third indent. We've made two, and we're indenting our third, showing you the status um, of the indentation. And the indenter will retract. The stage is automatically navigating to the next uh, location. We're making our fourth indentation on the OD. And then for the for the z-axis recognition um, portion of this uh, you know this test program, the 2500 will actually recognize the change in height based on my program control. So I just told it that this last indent is at a different height, and you can see that we have that necking portion change in height. I'm trying to get the uh, the video for you to show it change height and move over to the necking portion of the, uh, the bullet shell. All five of our indentations have been completed. Our stage will now navigate back to its, you know, to its first indentation location. The tester rotated to our 20x objective. Moving back over to the computer monitor, you can see that the software is now automatically focusing. Um, automatically measuring each indentation. So now the stage will move back again 
image will display um, and we will observe the software collecting the measurements. Now for this particular bullet shell, I apologize, the sample has been tested quite a lot. Um, it's got a lot of scratches on it, um, which can affect the, the algorithm. So. But it has been very repeatable up till uh, till this short video. Plus, with the relatively soft material and the you know, 2.5 kg load, the indents become a little bit uh, rounded, which makes it difficult for the algorithms. Um, just trying to show the uh, measurement capabilities here. It's auto focusing. Nice and then, and this is the very last position. I'll try and you can see now we're at the necking portion of the bullet shell. Back over to the software, and you can see the indentation is now automatically measured. Okay, so what we're left with is our data which could then be easily exported to um, you know, different programs such as Microsoft Excel um, or a predefined uh, template using crystal reports. Um, we also have this, uh, this custom bullet shell fixture which we, uh, we also have available. So for this video I just used a, a single, single bullet shell fixture um, to get the idea that the, the changing of the, the height of the z-axis, but um, what you could do is you could also use um, coordinates and mount this fixture on our XY table, and you can see here. Try to do this while holding the uh, camera. You can quickly and easily insert the bullet shell. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Very difficult to do with one hand, but the idea is that you can quickly and easily mount each bullet shell into this five bullet shell fixture, mount the fixture on the stage, and, uh, and, and just go ahead using coordinates, quickly load five bullet shells to find one starting location, and, uh, and you're off and running. The software will, will take care of the rest, um, and, and you'll have all your data. Okay, so thank you very much.